Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is C Chronicles. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you're new on this channel, I do fragrance reviews and I do lifestyle uh, and uh, DIY videos. Uh, so I hope you do consider subscribing if you're new and if you're returning, welcome back and thank you for coming along. I'm here with a fragrance uh, video and I was tagged in a tag uh, which is called fragrance in my collection I need to use more often. This tag was created by um, White boys fragrance corner and uh, i was in turn uh, tagged by 50 cent uk i will link uh, um, those two fragrance reviewers in the description down below and uh, please do go and check out their channels uh, like i said this tag is called fragrances i need to use more often and it was created by uh, white boys uh, fragrance corner so i'm going to go straight into the video and i'll tell you the fragrances that i want to talk about the first one is going to be this one Sinori. Mysteriosa by Salvatore uh, Ferragamo. I bought this one in a haul for my birthday uh, last year and uh, believe it or not I just used it uh, once or twice. Uh, the thing with this fragrance uh, is I just don't get myself to reach out for it because it was one of those that didn't surprise me it, it it's it's nothing new it's a fragrance that i've experienced before and i was quite disappointed what led me to buy this it was a blind buy i bought this based on uh, ronda larise's uh, recommendation where she raved about this fragrance and i thought okay if she says it's beautiful i'm gonna go and get it and uh, to my surprise no it didn't quite tick all my boxes all i have uh all i get is this milky mousse or milk mousse and that's where you know it just cuts off for me i don't get the tuberose i don't get the blackberry i'm quite nose deaf with this one but i still need to use it more often so that's why i've made it onto this tag it's a nice uh sweet um non-offensive fragrance so yes i will you know try to give it some more love my number two is decadence decadence by mark jacobs has been more of a hate than a love relationship for me. I've had this one for more than three years now. I just get the plum. And to me, it's quite strong, very strong to a point of annoying, I guess. And that is the reason why I don't reach out for this. Um, you know, I'm waiting for the day I will love this fragrance. It's a it's a daring fragrance, a fragrance that's in your face, you know, and the plum. I don't know whether it's in the interpretation of the plum in here, but I just find myself thinking twice. Every time I reach for it, I'm like, mm -mm, I can, I'm going to do this later. So I need to show you some love, girl. I'll get used to the plum. Okay, the next one that I want to talk about is this one, Le Petit Robe Noir. Uh, or fresh by uh, Guerlain. Uh, this is another one if you've seen in my videos or you've been following you know this has been on the top mark since you know I really really use this fragrance and yet it's a it's got a sour cherry it's beautiful it's sweet it's soft it's fresh it's got some pistachio it's got the tonka bean I love the way they have blended the tonka bean in here but for some reason you know it's one of those fragrances that if I you know, I, I, I'd say maybe it's an issue of forgetting. I, I just forget to use this fragrance and I need to use it more often. Now that I've sprayed it, I actually feel, you know, I'm missing a lot. This is a beautiful fragrance. You know, might as well just, you know, drain myself or drown myself in it now. My number four is going to be this one. Where did I put? Okay, this one. There you go. Roberto Cavalli, the original, right? I... Okay, I know you're going to say, or you're going to think, oh, how come it's on that mark? This fragrance I enjoy in its dry down. I do not enjoy the top notes. I do not enjoy whatever it is. I just enjoy it in its dry down. And for that reason, I tend to spray my clothes, you know, with this fragrance. Uh, I just get in my closet, spray my clothes and walk away. And uh, this is the reason why it's now on this mark. I hardly, hardly use it. It also is a bit f uh, masculine in a way. It's got some pink pepper and uh, it's got some tonka bean as well, but it's just one of those fragrances I need to show some love. The next one is going to be this one. This is a beautiful fragrance, guys. Bezor Velay by Cartier, right? Bezor Velay by Cartier, this is like, a, it's, a, it's, it's almost green. It's, it's lovely. It's almost green. It's got some citrus and it's got that lily. 
right it's this is a lily based fragrance it's got a beautiful lily done in here but i just find myself again not reaching out for it so yeah i need to start wearing this more often it's a beautiful fragrance guys i cannot fault it but for some reason it just happens to be one of those fragrances that i really very rarely you know find myself wearing uh, the next fragrance I want to talk about is this one. But before I do, please do consider to subscribe. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new on this channel. Uh, please do click that subscribe uh, button and do throw in a comment in the comment section after watching this video. Let me know if you have some of these fragrances or if you have fragrances in your collection that you've just simply neglected of that or that bottle that you just cannot find or just cannot find yourself you know drawn to use it but it's just there in your collection and you can't gift it because you love it but you just whenever you want to wear it you're like mm, not today you know so that's what i'm talking about today okay allure sensual by chanel i bought this one again as my uh, 40th birthday gift and i just find myself again uh not liking it's not about not liking it's also got this masculine vibe to it with me when it comes to fragrances when they turn a bit masculine that's to me kind of like a de uh, deal breaker when it comes to usage you know i like the fragrances that are super super girly you know a fragrance that has got a touch of masculinity to it i just find myself you know thinking no i'm gonna do this later and this is just one of them it's got the pink pepper it's got peach it's got some dried fruit and vanilla but i'm just stuck up on the masculinity of it but yeah i cannot fault it it's also a fragrance that is beautiful and i really need to show it some love the next one I'm going to talk about is this one, right? I have spoken about this fragrance before, Alien by Mugler, right? This is one of the most uh, daring fragrances out there, if you ask me. I find this fragrance just in your face. And like I said, years ago, I bought this fragrance for myself. When I went into a perfume shop, that, that time I wasn't too big on uh, what I knew I wanted. I went into a perfume shop and I said, I want a strong perfume. That's what I want. I want something that will project you know, because I was about to, you know, I just wanted a fragrance that would just do the talking for me. And they said that it would be the perfect one for me. And they pointed at this one, bought it, went home with it, sprayed it two, three days. I couldn't do it. I washed it off. Didn't even want to smell the clothes that I had sprayed it on and I gifted to my sister. And tell you what, years later, a friend of mine noticing that I now have a YouTube channel gifted it to me again. So Alien is black back in my collection, but I will always have that, I will always have that, I've got to think moment before I can, you know, wear this because it's a very strong fragrance. It's got that presence. It's in your face. It's very bismol. It projects. So for me, I really can't, you know, fault it because I know this fragrance has a following. A lot of people love this fragrance, but for me, it's just one of those fragrances that is too much. It's got a jasmine in here, but the jasmine is done in an overwhelming way for me. So it's one of those fragrances that at the moment I cannot give away because I was gifted, but I just don't gravitate towards it because Alien for me will always be Alien, right? The next one I'm going to talk about is this one, Chanel number no. 5. Chanel number no. 5 is also a fragrance that I was gifted by a friend, right? A uh, little sister of mine, I call her little sister. She gifted me this. She said, oh, so, sis, you love perfumes. I love this uh, fragrance, but it's one of those fragrances, again, that is, you know, it... I will keep this for as long as I can because it reminds me of my mother. She used to wear this fragrance. But for me, it's a bit too much on the aldehydes. It's a bit powdery uh, and it's also a bit pre uh, strong and it's a bit musky as well. And it's too soapy for me. So I just find myself looking at it and thinking, mm, I'm going to wear it some other day. I'm going to wear it next month. I'm going to wear it tomorrow instead. And I just can't get myself to use this fragrance. So this is Chanel number no. five, guys. And I really need to start wearing this at least in just small doses, I guess. Um, the next one, which is going to be second from the last, is going to be this one. Good Girl by Carolina Herrera, right? This fragrance for me has a tonka been done in a way that I just, you know, it, it, to me, it's it's... It, it again borders along the muscle, masculine fragrances and the way the tonka bean is interpreted in this one gives me that masculine vibe it's too annoying it's got the praline it's it's just too much for me so for that reason i find myself but the funny thing about this fragrance is you know if i spray it sometimes in my room i just 
enjoy it more than spraying it on myself and as a result i've had this fragrance for again maybe two three years and i hardly reach for it because it's one of those fragrances that yes for sure i need to give love but at the same time fragrance stays with you so it's not an issue of because it's carried in a hair i'm gonna wear it anyway so i just find myself not reaching out for this a lot and the last one i'm going to talk about today is this one katie perry's killer queen this is a beautiful fragrance guys uh for those who've been following my channel you know i've had this fragrance for a long time it's a very nice fruity fresh sweet gourmonish uh fragrance but it's just one of those that is just lost in the collection i hardly reach for it and i just forget about it and i need to also you know show it some love because i cannot fault this fragrance you know it's not bad at all but i just don't find myself wearing it so yes guys that's what i had for you i had 10 fragrances which i managed to pick from my collection which i need to show some love 10 fragrances in my collections that my collection that i haven't been using as much as i should and i have been doing a tag which was created uh by um white boys fragrance corner and i was in turn tagged by 50 cent uk if you enjoyed watching this tag and you haven't been tagged and you're a fragrance um you're a fragrance reviewer or you do fragrances please do consider yourself tagged let's get the tag going uh thank you very much for joining me today don't forget to subscribe comment like and share and remember guys smelling good is a form of a of good manners cheers <laughs>